to identify a specimen of Salix feminalis, the following features may be of use. The young bark is grey and smooth with raised lenticels. The mature bark a grey to light brown with vertical fissures becoming stringy. Salix feminalis is diuretious, so there are separate male and female plants. The male catkins emerging in February to March has furry buds developing to a catkin approximately 30 millimetres long with yellow pollen loaded anthers on white filaments just away from a furry main body of the catkin. The female catkins again born in large high dense numbers on the sprays grey green and rather muted in colour the female flowers developing from April to May into a set of green capsules on a raceme, bursting open to release thistle-like seed. The spray of Salix feminalis is highly distinctive because of the very long uh, leaves, <coughs> resulting in a very feathery appearance. The leaves are borne alternately and rather front-loaded to the end of the twigs, lots of dense coverage at the end of each shoot. The leaves lanceolate to oblanceolate, strap-like, light green above and a strong grey-green to white underneath. And the fine foliage giving rise to a very feathery appearance to this typically multi-stemmed shrub reaching a height of about four metres, very commonly associated with rivers and streams. The winter buds of Salix viminalis tend to be rather densely packed near to the twig end. They're a light to tan brown uh, alternate on a green, olive green twig.